Be sure to tag a friend. So let's begin. The first thing we're gonna do is apply olive oil, then apply low fat barbecue sauce and sriracha sauce and stir together until it gets really hot. Now I'm gonna chop some onions and throw them in the frying pan. Once we've done that, we're gonna stir around in the frying pan until the onions change color. Then we're gonna apply uh, mixed vegetables. Now we're gonna add garlic powder, ginger, and stir around. We have free made chicken, we're gonna cut, then apply seasoned salt, garlic powder, and ginger, then add to the frying pan. Finally, rice, canal spice, stir together, ready to go. If you guys think I can't cook, it must be on that dope. It must be tripping. So, this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make my healthy version of chicken fried rice. Make sure to listen to the full voiceover of the video. And I wanna thank you guys for coming and watching the video. Enjoy. More motivation in the building. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a healthy version of a chicken fried rice as opposed to going to a Chinese restaurant to get it. So for you, those of you guys that couldn't follow the first part before the intro, well, I'm gonna go through everything slowly. Before we do this, we wanna make sure we have rice pre-made and chicken pre-made. Now that that's out of the way, our first step is to apply olive oil to a hot pan alongside sriracha sauce and a healthy version of barbecue sauce. Once we've done those two things, we're going to stir together onto the barbecue sauce, sriracha sauce, and the olive oil and mix together, almost like a paste. Just like such. And it almost looks like a uh, Thai sauce, right? So you want to do it until it, it has a different texture. This is only going to take like 30 seconds to a minute. So now we're going to get some onions and we're going to chop it up. We're going to chop it to as little pieces as we can. So as you see, I'm trying to chop it, right? So you want to make sure your hands are clean. You're not touching uh, raw meat or anything like that, right? We want to make sure to be safe as well when you're doing this. And we're going to cut it to as little pieces as possible, to the best of our ability. Awesome. So now we're going to add this to our frying pan, just like such. And now we're going to stir it till the texture of the onions are different and the color is different. So we're gonna stir until it's, it's sizzling hot. You want to get it to a point to where it's literally almost burnt, right? You want the onions to change texture completely. So now we're gonna add our mixed vegetables and stir together as well. So we're gonna stir it together until it's really, really mixed together. And keep in mind, I uh, I microwave the mixed veggies before I put it in. Actually, so the pre the veggies are pre-made also, because we don't want extra water from it being frozen to go into the mixture. So now I'm gonna add some garlic powder, just a little bit. That's about a tablespoon and a half. I'm gonna stir it together. Then we're gonna add some ginger. So. In order to have good flavor for any food, essential ingredients you may need is onions, garlic, and ginger. Those three things right there with any other spice with like pepper, salt, paprika, or whatever, those three right there gives flavor to anything. So I recommend it. So now we're gonna take our pre-made chicken breast and we're gonna cut it into little pieces. You can actually do this also with um, oven roasted chicken, or even like a healthy fried chicken, but we chose to use boiled chicken today. So now that I have it cut in pieces, we're gonna apply some seasoned salt to it. Just like I'm doing here. 
and we're gonna apply some garlic and ginger as well and once we do that we're going to really we're gonna use our hands yes our hands our clean hands and we're gonna mix it together yeah get into it so we're gonna mix it together just like that and our next step is of course to apply it to our frying pan So now this is self-explanatory. We're gonna stir this together to the best of our ability. I'm gonna wait for me to get there. Good. So now we're gonna stir it together to the best of our ability, right? Let it change texture. Let the flavor get in the chicken, right? So let, and the good thing about spicing twice is everything gets into the food, right? You don't want food to be bland. That's This is one of the ways to, have your food have better flavor, right? Spice under, spice on top. So let's mix it well together. Awesome. We'll let it sizzle for a bit. This really doesn't take a long time, guys. You, anybody can do this. You just need step by step, right? This is why I'm going through this slowly with you guys to have something good tasting and healthy. So now we're gonna apply some canal spice, but this is one of the best spices to use. The macros on there are really, really good. It's not too salty and it tastes pretty good. So we're gonna apply that and stir it together once again. All right, you see how it looks right now? And now we're gonna apply our rice. So that's our pre-made rice. So for this, we used uh, brown rice. You can use white rice, or whatever kind of rice, but prefer, prefer, I can't talk. So the preferred version of rice you should use is uh, brown rice. That's one of the healthy rice, healthier rices you can use. So we're gonna apply that and stir it together to the best of our ability until the rice completely changes texture, right? Just like that. So this took me only about like 20 minutes to do, right? Only because I had the rice pre-made and the chicken pre-made. But this is really, really a fast process. This is not, this is not hard to do at all. You just need to follow some steps like I said and uh, have some patience. So we're gonna stir it until the texture completely changes. So the rice in the bottom will be more crunchy. So you wanna stir around so all the rice gets to the bottom, right? And this way you don't have uh, super salty sauces. So you don't have, this is not really, this is not high in sodium at all, right? So the macros on it are really, really, really good. I wish I had it laid out for you guys, but I don't, unfortunately. But in the future, I will be doing a different video. So I really hope you guys liked the video, right? Um, it's a simple, quick process to get you guys going, right? To make a healthy version of chicken fried rice. Make sure to like the video. Comment below on what kind of videos you'd like to see. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. And uh, stay tuned for more, man. I'm out. Peace.